Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to your heavy duty life. Um, today we get some exciting, um, exciting work to do. You know, I'm bringing you another video fresh out of the box. So um, let me explain. I don't want to keep the video too long. You know, I like to keep my videos short as possible as I can make them. So um, let me show you what I got to do today, and stick around because it's gonna be interesting. So what we get? We get a tack trailer. I got to connect the truck to the trailer today. We're going to be pulling. We're going to be hauling a um, machine. So we're going to pick up the buckle. First, I got to connect the truck to the trailer. Then we're going to drive. We're going to go pick up the buckle. Then we're going to take the buckle to a job. And then we're going to start do some pretty cool stuff with the buckle on the truck at this job. So stay tuned let's get into this Alright guys, so we already get the trailer hooked up to the truck. I already do my pre-trip, all the tires, everything good. So now it's time for us to hit the road and we're gonna go pick up that back home. So let's go. Alright guys, let's go.
All right, guys, we have to make a quick stop. We have to make a quick stop, get some ticket sign. Because I was on this job before. Watch at this, watch at this view. Beautiful. So man. Yeah, this was Prince House. All of you that know Prince, the singer. Yeah, that died. That was his house. And we got Drake House. Drake House right over there. That's where um Too Hot to Handle was filmed. The, the last um, episodes right where those trees are yeah but beautiful beautiful view so let me just show you and back to the journey Can I grab the baco and load she up now? All right, guys, this is what we're here to pick up. 3CX. All right, everything looks good with it. Oil and everything looks good. Fuel looks good. So um, let's take her out now. Load her up on the truck.
All right, guys. So we get the buckle well loaded, well strapped. Everything is good here. Time to hit the road again. Let's go to that job. Alright guys, so we on the job site now. Um, so I just talked to the dude and the job is I I have to move some of this material from here to our next place. Some topsoil and some quarry. So first thing I gotta park this, I gotta find a place to put this trailer and detach it from the truck. 
and then I'll um, load up the truck and then take the material to the next job site. So it's some um, material shifting job today. So um, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna leave this trailer now. And yeah, then we're gonna go again. All right, guys, it was a little fight to put it up here. I mean, this is the only clear spot I see that was would have been out of the way for me, you know, because I got to work over on that area. So, yeah, this is not a bad spot, you know, to leave the trailer until I'm ready at the end of the day to get it back. So, let's get this bad boy off. Load it off and start the job.
All right, guys. So we get a trailer detached from the truck. We get a we get a buckle off the truck as well, off the trailer. And now we're gonna load up some of the, the material. I have a few loads to carry, so I'm not gonna make the video that long that I'm showing you every single load that I carry. But let me know because I think you know I make the vi the, the videos just be long enough because it's it's hours and hours of uh, content that's be filming. So I try my best to speed it up and you know try to make it short as possible. You know, so you guys don't have to go through the full entire day. But let me know if you want to see that much content or you want the video to be longer than 30 minutes. Let me know because I try my best to keep it underneath uh, 20 to 30, 30 minutes. You know, so um, yeah, I'm going to set the truck up now and um, load up this, a few loads of this and then a few loads of the darker one, uh, the, the, the darker one and yeah let's get into it again Alright guys, so we got the first load loaded up. Um, if you notice the truck is on a slope, on a slant. That's why I didn't overload it as well. But the way you see me do here, I, I flatten that area. Now when I come back, I'm gonna put the truck on a more flatter spot. 
I only do it this way right now because he wanted from to this side, you know, and all of that land there is, is uh, flat. I put a trailer down there. So I um so what I did now I flatten this area so when I come back I'm gonna put a truck here and I'm gonna be able to load on a on a flatter ground and more comfortable. I wasn't worried because I know I'm loading it's not that terrible like it's gonna tip over or anything and these truck suspension is really good on slope so not worried at all you know so here we go I'm gonna drop off the first load and repeat
So guys, you see what I'm talking about, right? Um, see what I'm talking about, right? I, I tell you, I was gonna bring back the truck and I'm gonna put it on the level spot. So this is exactly what I meant. So now you see the truck is sitting nice and, and level. It's no longer on the slope. And also, I could have a nice Y way, a nice um, letter Y in loading. You know, I could go into the heap, I could reverse right here, and I could go straight into the truck uh, comfortably. So, um, this is something I always like to do. I always like to set up the job the way I want it, the way it makes uh, me feel more comfortable working and more confident and uh, more easier for me so I'm not driving far or I'm not all around the place. So I just like to make the work easy for myself, you know, and that's the, that's the way you should to enjoy it. So always um, tip of the day, always try to make the job easy as possible for yourself. You know, try not to drive too far when you're loading. You know, try to make your your touring as short as possible. You know, try to um, load in a Y, in, in like a, a Y. You know, you, you drive in, you come back, and then you go to the truck. You know, so that's my tip. I always try to keep it short. You load faster. It's more comfortable. Less ground to cover, especially if the, the terrain is rough. Yeah, so let's load this up and repeat. Alright guys, you see how that tip works, right? Everything just, and I have a, a nice load in the truck as well. So, you see how that tip works? You see how it made the job so much easy on me? You know, it wasn't a, um, a hassle at all. Just simple and nice. Alright, so I'm gonna go carry this load now and you know, continue the job. All right, guys. So I just dropped off the the second load, and I'm here now at the topsoil heap. Let me show you. So we gotta get one load out of here to truck over. Uh, not really sure how this is gonna work, but it's gonna work. <laughs> so I gotta go through this and see if I could get some of the soft stuff, put the rocks aside, and load the truck up with one load. And then this is gonna be the final load. So let's go let's go load up the truck and um and drop this one off and that will be it
All right, guys, truck is loaded up and we're ready to hit the road again. As you can see, this is a very dusty material, very rocky. This is more rocks than, than anything else, man. Um, yeah, so we loaded up and we're gonna head out and drop this load off. And yeah, that'll, that'll be it. So let's go drop this off. You see, I was trying to sift through it, get some of the big rocks out, but uh, no, no matter how you twist it and turn it, I can't run from this. This is way too much rocks. I don't know what he's gonna do with this, but good luck. Yeah, so we're gonna head out now. And don't forget, shout out to Al's Holland and Equipment. If you need a machine in or a dump truck or any sort of, any sort of machine in our trucks and cakes, hit up Al's Holland, man. Watch your numbers right there. Give him a call. We'll get the job done for you. Alright guys, so this will be it. This is all the guy wants. All he wants is the loads delivered and that's it. So we get one load and the two loaders curry and we'll have to call that a day. So um thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you like the content and um 
leave a comment in the comment section telling me what you think about this video and you know just let me know what you like about the video what's your favorite part just let me know man all right there's where i end this video <laughs>